Alright, hello and welcome to Mega Bomberman on the Sega Mega Drive, released in 1994 when I was a whole one years old. One of my friends Smackers has recently been doing some videos on a Mega Bomberman game for the SNES and I thought I'd steal his idea. Uh, no, wait, not, did I just say that out loud? I meant uh, I was inspired by my friend Smaggers. His link is in the description, so I'll check out his channel for more Bomberman silliness. So here we go, let's start a normal game. The first world, Jammin' Jungle. What a lovely sounding place. Yep, yeah, Area 1, Stage 1. Where else would you start? So here we are in the first area, if you don't know what a Bomberman game entails, basically you blow everything up and cause as much damage as possible. So you know, our enemies move about, there's a little naughty rabbit at the top of the screen and this walker thing, so you've got to place your bombs and try and blow them up. Also try and destroy as much objects as possible to collect more pickups, so there we go, got rid of that naughty rabbit. That walker, yeah that walker's already been hit. I believe I picked up an orange super boost bomb power thing as well. And if you pick up that bomb power up, which I'm going towards now, that'll give me an extra bomb. So now I can play two bombs at once. So the objective is to blow up those blue pylon things. Once you blow up both of them, there we go. The little, oh, <laughs> I've accidentally killed myself. Well, that was embarrassing. Whoops. Right, let's have another go at that without killing myself this time. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. How did I die on the first stage? Oh god, that rabbit's close to that bomb. Take this, Mr. Rabbit. That's for not giving me any Easter eggs this year. Right, let's put a bomb here so I can get to that walker. There we go, now he's free. Trap him in. Ha <laughs> Absolutely trapped. Oh, I've got turn one there. What a shot with the bombs. Right, let's get rid of this last pylon and rabbit in one. There we go. Might as well destroy the rest of these objects because there can be good hidden things in these objects. You never know. There's an extra bomb there. That's, can be, that would be very useful. Although, try not to lay too many at once. Otherwise, you will blow yourself up, as I learned earlier in the video. Ooh, a Louie! Louie egg! A purple one! That's the one that jumps. There we go. Look, I do little jumps with my little purple Louie. So he's basically a little bit of extra health as well. You can now take a hit point because you will lose your Louie and won't lose a life. But there we go. Stage one complete. There's that little stone, are they stones, crystals, moon shards, something, I don't know, I should know more about this. Here we go then, stage number two. Oh my, what is that green thing? What even is that animal? I've never seen an animal like that in real life. Right, those green depressed floating flobbernobbits, that's right, I'm calling them a flobbernobbit because I have no idea what its actual name is, they are very fast. So you've got to be very careful of them. Try and trap him here with a bomb. Oh, he's got rid of... He got away from that bomb. Right, come on. I can get him this time, surely. There we go. That green flobber knob, it's been killed. Would you like to fall into my trap, sir? Haha, <laughs> there's a bomb for you. Oh, get absolutely destroyed. Right, that's one out of the three pylons. I see a naughty Sammy Snail up ahead. Hello, Mr. Snail. How's it going? Ah, I believe that's the snooker cue power up where you can now push your bomb. So if I now pick this up, there we go, I can now push my bombs up ahead. Ooh, good shot there, got that walker. Right, there's also a bridge up ahead. You don't believe you can play bombs on the bridge, and you play some by the side of the bridge, the, the blast will not go over the bridge. Right, here comes Sammy Snell across the bridge into my bomb trap. <laughs> Wait, he's slowly... Oh, he's got away from that. How did that slow snail get away from my bomb? Right, get trapped by this one. What? How is he this fast? Get absolutely destroyed. Right, this time, surely. There we go. Naughty Sammy Snail have somehow avoided all my bombs. So I haven't really been using my jump power up. As you can see, you can jump over these platforms and place a bomb like that. So you can now destroy both of them at once. Generally, I find the jumping Louie is the best for kind of jump over blast because if you time it right you can jump over a blast right there we go get rid of that walker trap him in lovely that should be the last pylon let's destroy that and there we go the last shard will now be released there it goes lovely there we go last few bombs everything destroyed nothing else left stage two complete there we go lift that up into the sky right here we go then stage three Generally, this has been quite a casual little let's play. A little bit more casual than most of my videos. Usually, there's lots of exciting things going on. Not that poor man is not excited. Oh, my God, I'm getting chased by a flobber knobbit. That's what I called them, wasn't it? God, they're so fast. Get absolutely destroyed by this bomb. There we go. 
Phew, that was close. Oh god, or at least another one. Here he goes, right. Try and trap him in with a few bombs. There we go, have one there. Have one there. Oh, wait, oh no, I've lost my Louis. Oh, that's absolutely terrible gameplay. I was so concentrated on the green thing, I completely forgot to put another bomb there. Right, come to my trap, Walker. Oh, he's escaped it. Or is he gonna... No, he isn't gonna get hit. But yeah, you can accidentally blow up those power-ups. I think I blew up a bomb power-up there. But I can lay so many bombs already and my power is so strong. Right, just a few walkers remaining there. That's one of them. Oh, oh god, he's so close to me. Less than two meters, you naughty walker. Don't get too close to me. God, he can't... He's not getting blown up by these bombs. Right, let's put a few around here. That should trick him. Yeah, there we go. Right, there we go. He's dead. So now just that blue pile on left, and then we can go on to the next stage. What's this power up? Is this um, a hit point invincibility cloak, I think? Possibly. Oh, one of those green things is back again. <laughs> right, it looks like a really small area. There's a little bridge as well. Oh, God, don't trap me in. Just get blown up. There we go. Oh, there's a few extra bombs. I'll take these. Thank you very much. And explode. <gasps> Louis! A Louis egg! A green one. What's the green one do? I completely forgot. Is that the dancing one? Uh, Alright, I've blown the green. Oh, no, it's the super super speed. Yes, this is one of the best Louis. I think the super speed and the jumping ones are the best ones. What's the other one? I think one kicks bombs and the other one dances. I think there's a yellow and a pink one. Oh, I am so fast now. Look how fast I go. <laughs> right, just make sure I don't accidentally run too fast into a bomb. Right, careful across this bridge. Uh, oh, that rabbit's in the way, and now the walker's coming across. Not in my garden, sir. Right, careful, wait for them to go by. Now put a bomb down. Haha, <laughs> they should be trapped in that corner. They're all oh, both in one shot, not too bad. And the last walker, which has a pile on top. There we go, that should be stage complete. I believe there is a boss after this stage, although I don't really remember what the first boss was. Oh, he's such a speedy boy. There we go. Stage three complete. Time for a boss. Right, what was the first boss fight in this game? Oh, no, don't panic, little Louie. Oh, I'm going backwards and forth. So I don't know what's going on. Right, where's the boss going to appear from? Oh, it's a banana with a little monkey. Ah, uh, I think I remember this now. Yeah, the, the little monkey controls the banana. I think you can hit the monkey or the banana. So there we go. I think I'm allowed to hit both, and they both counts as damage. Oh, I think I just about hit that little monkey there. Run away from the banana. I don't like bananas at the best of times. I'm really not a fan of banana-flavoured things. I have a banana milkshake, but I'm not really a big fan of giant floating banana robots, let's be honest. Also, I know this game came out way before Ape Escape, but I'm getting a lot of Ape Escape kind of um, vibes from this. But there we go, first boss done. Oh, the monkey's on fire, and it's run into the wall. So that was not a bad little first boss fight. I remember the bosses do get really hard in this game, which meant I didn't really make too much progress. But there we go, jamming jungle complete, as we get the magical stars to let me know I've completed the level. Isn't that nice? Puzzle complete. So there we go, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and there might be more in the future. But for now, take care, and leave me alone.